Hollyholics, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my top summer reads. For this video, I wanted to do outside. For one, because it is so gorgeous out. I just love it. And for a second, it's getting close to summer, but it's not quite there. So I did want to do it a little bit earlier. So then you guys can have some options of some summer reads that I really love reading in the summer. I wanted to do outside because it's not very windy and my aunt and uncle aren't at the house so they can't see me filming back here and it won't be so embarrassing and yeah so let's just get right into my top 10 summer reads so let's get right into it so the first one would be attachments by rainbow rowell i really really loved reading this book it is such a great romantic contemporary like it's an adult one it was so adorable and just so so fun and I just absolutely love this one I do want to give it another reread because it is quite short so it shouldn't take too long like it's only 307 pages so it's not all that long but this one pretty much follows a girl named Beth who is emailing back and forth with another girl at their work and they know someone is like monitoring their emails and making sure they're all working well but they really don't care about that person who does ends up falling in love with Beth through the email she's sending with her friend and it is just plain adorable and I would highly recommend this book as a summer read because it is just so fast-paced it is so rom-com-ish and for me summer reads are all about the rom-com all about the fun romances I don't know it's just that's how summer is for me so it will just be a fun read to read on the beach and just be in the sun and tan and read attachment so that is my number 10 summer read my next one which has a very very summery cover on it is I'll give you the sun by Jani Nelson this is the UK cover edition even the, like the US version is very summery cover I really really enjoyed reading this one it is very very emotional and it is also kind of like summery in a way because the two characters are twins and the protective are different time periods so following Noah is when they're 14 I believe and then when you follow Jude they're 16 and they used to be inseparable but now they have drifted apart and I just always associate this one kind of with summer and like the sun and hot and I don't know I just associate this with summer so it's my number nine summer recommendation next one the setting doesn't take place in the summer but it does feel like more of a summer read just because again it's very associated to romance and those kinds of things so it's to all the boys I love before series by Jenny Han this one is very just like rom-com-ish pretty much follows a girl named Lara Jean who writes love letters to the boys she loves and they somehow get sent out to all the boys she loved before and it's just a very fun series again it takes place in different times of the year but it is very also summery for me just because I did read it when it was starting to get a little bit warmer and I just associate more with kind of like the warmer weather rather than the colder weather because it's very like warm-hearted and it's very fast-paced and I don't know I just really really love this book that is my number eight top summer read my next one is more of kind of like a heavy one but the setting does take place in the summer so I do associate it with the summer kind of read and that one is called me by your name by Andre Asiman. I, Asiman. I don't know how to say his last name. I always say it wrong. This one takes place six weeks, I believe, in the summer. Freelance follows a boy named Elio, and every summer his father takes on a graduate student who comes and works on his thesis. It is just a really kind of heavy but also really romantic and really fun read, and it's just written so fantastic. I just absolutely love this book, and it does feel like more of a summer read to me just because it takes place in the summer they're always going swimming or they're always doing something that's kind of summer like biking and stuff like that and it just gets that atmospheric of the summer I feel like a lot of people will enjoy reading this at like the beach or even just on cold days because it is kind of a heavy read but yeah that is my number seven summer read my next summer read would be gentleman's guide to vice and virtue by Mackenzie Lee I just associate this one with the summer because they are going on a big adventure and they are going um, around Europe and doing that kind of stuff is kind of in the summery kind of realm 
home while you have time off, you don't have to worry. That's kind of what summer is. It's being able to go on a little adventure, starting to get warm so you can actually do that. It's just like a fun paced summer read where you can take it with you when you're going on your adventures and read it. The next one I'd be a summer read is The Upside of Unacquitted by Becky Albertelli. I specifically think of this as a summer read because I read it in August when it was really hot and I was on the August long with my family. It just feels like such a summer read to me even though it doesn't take place in summer. I don't think. I don't think it did but it's very kind of like fun romance, rom-com-ish and it just follows a girl named Molly who her sister is starting to date this new girl and she's starting to feel a little left out and her sister tries to set her up with her girlfriend's friend but then she also meets someone at work and it's just a really adorable read and I just absolutely love reading this at the beach and at the camp that we were at and it was just so so fantastic I absolutely loved it so I would highly recommend reading this one in the summer that is my next one oh, someone just came out into our yard right beside me and it's really annoying my number four recommendation for a summer read would be Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Again, this one I would recommend because I read it during that same August long weekend and it was just a really, really fun, like, adventurous romantic read that I really really enjoyed. It pretty much follows a girl named Ella who is going to a convention, con convention thing and she ends up starts responding with the actual actor in the show that she watches. I can't really remember everything but it's just like a really fun fandom kind of read and I really really loved it and I might give it another go sometime in the summer and yeah so that is my number four recommendation my third recommendation would be the unexpected everything by Morgan Madsen now this one actually does take place in the summer so the main character Andy she feels like she has everything figured out she had like an internship set up she was gonna do the summer job with the internship then that falls through when her father who is in politics has a big scandal come out and she ends up getting that taken away then she ends up getting a job working as a dog walker it's just a really fun summer read like it is a bit hefty for what it is but I still really really enjoyed it I love the dog aspect of it I really really love the kind of romance that comes in and the friendships between her and her friends were just freaking fantastic and even like the relationship between her and her dad it was just really really fun I really really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend this as a summer read my top two recommendation would be The Wrong Side of Right by Jen Mary Thorne. This one was so much fun. It can be a little bit compared to The Unexpected Everything in a way just because of the politics and stuff. This one follows a girl who learns that her father is running for president. Then somehow the press finds out and the father ends up taking her along with him on his campaign. It is just really fun. It's during the summer. Her mom passed away like a year ago I believe and she didn't know who her father was until this whole scam came out and she ends up going on the campaign with him and learns about his new family his two kids I can't remember if they're twins or not and then stepmother as well so yeah I would highly recommend this one as well as a summer read and my number one summer read in this recommendation list is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanya Menon this one is definitely a high recommendation from me because it is just such a fun fun read. Again, it takes place in the summer, so it has that atmospheric feeling to it when you're reading. And like the cover even is just so summery with her drinking a iced coffee. So this one follows obviously Dimple and Rishi. And Dimple is very, very passionate about getting into um, making app stuff for like Google. I can't remember if it's actually Google she's working with in here or if it's made up company or what it is but she goes into this internship type dealy or camp or I can't remember what it's called. Rishi who is pretty much like the person who her parents are arranging her to marry he ends up going there as well just to meet Dimple and they end up working together and it's honestly it's really really adorable I really really loved it and I would highly 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 recommend this one as a book you read in the summer so yeah those are all my summer reads thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give 
thumbs up, comment down below your favorite summer reads. I would love to know because it's almost summer and I would really, really like to have more books to read during the summer. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Check out my other social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. I make a video every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!